Hello and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name's Steve Woody and this is Star Citizen. Currently we're playing on patch 3.19.1 and I'm going to be talking you through everything you need to know to get started with this game. Now assuming you've watched my previous video where I explained the background and the, the basis of the game and why I'm getting involved in it now, I'm going to take you through a kind of new user experience. There is a 30 minute tutorial mode you can go through. I don't think you need to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you everything that, that matters and, and go beyond that from here in, in a more detailed way. This game is a bit brutal when you get started. There's there's no real hold uh, hand holding. So I, I feel like this video series is, is needed and uh, hopefully it helps you and it serves you well. So if you do the tutorial, you will end up in area 18, um, but it doesn't matter. I would personally choose New Babbage and that is where I am going to be doing this uh, video series. So you can change your location, um, but your primary residence will always be set. So yes, uh, anything else that is done uh, in the future uh, will always end up uh, going to the primary residence area. And they do do wipes every now and again, and you can actually ask for a character reset uh, that will reset all of this for you. Um, you can do that for your account settings. But check, choose a server location. Um, you'll go through your character customization. So you can uh, go through, customize your character. I won't waste the time on this. You, you can work out uh, that on your own. Uh, we're just going to enter the Star Citizen universe. Now, one of the beautiful things about this game is there are no loading screens. Ironically, I say that on a loading screen. But what I mean is that this game is not only persistent, but it's also immersive and it's meant to be realistic. Therefore, everything that you do within this game is done without transitions, without loading screens. Apart from the initial loading screen to get into the game, after this, if you want to leave a planet, you need to leave that planet. If you want to move somewhere, you need to take a train. And that involves waiting for that train to arrive. Everything happens in real time, and so that's one of the things you're going to have to learn to experience and, and deal with in this game. So whenever you log in, you're going to wake up in a bed. Right now we're in our apartment, so we can press Y to stand up. And uh, we can have a look around, so we can do that with the mouse key. Uh, I seem to... I think my visor, it's gone now. So we can look out the window, you can kind of see around. Uh, we can see the apartment. You can hear the sound of the uh, electric as you get closer to it. It's really, really good. It's very immersive already. Uh, and so I just want you to kind of get used to this. W, A, S, and D, and the mouse to loop, move around. When you want to interact with something, you will press the F key. If I press and hold F, you'll see this little hand icon that appears. And now anything that is interactable or that I can interact with will glow up like so. And if I get close enough to it, you'll start to see the text appear that shows me what I can do. Also, F12 will remove the uh, chat. You'll have a global chat. Press F12 to remove that and it's gone. All right, so I just want you at the moment to interact with a few things, understand how this works, and just get used to these basic commands, moving around, get a feel for it, make sure your mouse sensitivity is okay, which you can change by pressing escape, go into the options, and in the game settings, you can uh, you can actually do that in, uh, I believe it's in controls, mouse sensitivity, you can play with that if you need to. Uh, just get the game so it feels natural for you as you're moving around. Once you've done that and you're happy with that, uh, we're going to go up to the door. We're going to press F, uh, F key and left click. That will open the door and take us outside of our room. Now, it doesn't matter that this is your room now. It can change later. Uh, it's not a problem. There's some ambient sounds that are actually coming out of the corridor as well as the game sounds. So we're going to just move out the way here. There's nowhere else to go here except for down the elevator. Um, it's a big space, so a bit of a clash of sounds. We'll get out of the way in a minute. Look out the window, and across on the horizon, we can see the spaceport. You can start to get an idea of the city. You can see the train line that takes you there. This will all become more apparent later as we zoom out and you start to see. It's also snowing on this planet. Uh, look out the other side, and we can see New Babbage. Uh, you can see the city, and uh, we're going to go down there in a minute and have a look around. So come up to the elevator. F then click, wait for it to open, everything you have to wait for, so if the elevator's not on this floor, you have to wait for it to arrive, depends on when the last player used it, and then we click on this, press F to uh, hover, and you can scroll up and down to choose the floors, there's 5 rooms on each floor, there's 10 floors, that is 50 players per server, 
Uh, and they spin up as many servers as they need. All right, so have a look around, just kind of get a feel for this. And now we are downstairs, we've left our hotel room or our place, and now we are in the main reception area. So NPCs have just been fixed in previous videos, you'll have seen they were all bugged, they were all standing on chairs and things. They're all fixed now, you can't interact with many of them yet. But this is the um, sleeping area, the kind of hotel if you like. And that's it, all of the doors go upstairs, they all come back down again. Uh, so we're going to come out to the main foyer area, and if you turn around, you'll see this is Nest. Okay, so you're going to have to get used to this. You can see the ray tracing in effect, you can see the floor, uh, the ambient sounds, the lighting. It's, it's beautiful, really well built so far. Okay, so we turn around, we come out, and this is going to be the kind of main area of Aspire Grand. So imagine this as like a hotel entrance, if you like. Uh, these are players standing around here, um, just not doing anything at the moment, and then they're NPCs as well. So, from here, we've got the Nest, and we've also got the Brentworth Care Center. This is the Med Center. So, if we come into here, if you uh, die or something happens to you, you will respawn here. Um, you will be in one of these medical rooms around here. And you'll come out of the medical room in a similar way you come out of your uh, bedroom. And you'll come over to here. And then you'll come back out of here. You can also buy supplies. You can walk up to any terminal like this and you can use it. So if I need to check in, I can click here to check in. It's going to check availability. Welcome, says my name. And then it tells me what room to proceed to. So floor free, room free. And you can go and you can find that if you want to. And then you can go and get any treatment that you might need. You can get broken legs, stop you walking. Uh, if you run on them, you get injured, broken arms, um, and it affects you. Um, broken uh, <laughs> torso, uh, anything like that. Head injuries, you can black out. Lots of stuff that can happen in this game. Um, but yeah, that's it. So that's everything that you can do up here. This area. Everything else is just kind of like spaces for you to explore and look around. A bit of ambiance. Um, you know, a little bit of... Um, uh, just scene setting but these are the only two main functions here is the care center and the hotel so this is aspire now we're going to come down to the metro so we come down the stairs two sets of stairs either side they bring you down to the same place and now we're in the metro loop you can either go to the spaceport or the commons now the spaceport will take us all the way out to that spaceport Okay, I'm going to um, not do that at the moment. We're going to go a different way. We're actually going to go to the commons. But this goes to the commons via uh, an exhibition. Um, so it's, it's to the commons, but it's via um, an exhibition. And you can see the, the name of the place there. It says Aspire Grand. That's where we currently are. So we have to wait for the train. Now, I can sit down if I want to. Or I can uh, move around. I can stand up. I can take it all in. Just be aware that when you get to your stop, you have to get off. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll end up going around in a loop. Um, but it's beautiful. Once you get out of the tunnel, it's all open plan. You can kind of really get a feel. You can see where we just come from, that building. That's where we was up there. Um, and you can kind of get an idea. And now we're going in towards the city. So, yeah, it just kind of gives you an idea and a feel for this. This is going to be our first exit, or our first stop that we're going to get to here. Oh, it's bugged out a little bit, but it's all right. It... It is early access. It does bug out a little bit. Don't worry too much. Try not to, uh, to judge it on its current um, state. And just remember that there will be bugs. You will encounter them. And it's just part of the process. Alright, so here we are. This is the first stop. Uh, it actually says across there, it says this is the Expo Center. We're not going to get off here because there's actually nothing to do. We'd be stranded if we stopped here. So um, we're not going to stop. We're going to wait and we're going to stay on the train and we're going to go to the next stop, which is the commons. I really want you to kind of get a feel for this and to explore this yourself as well. Yeah, it's really, really good. You will need to learn this. This is the first location and um, altogether there's probably about 10 or 15 planets that you can explore. There's uh, mining rigs. There's, there's so many different places. And, and these are the NPCs still bugging out, as you can see. They haven't quite fixed them yet. They're all kind of just uh, chilling out, doing their thing. 
a little bit buggy still. Um, they'll fix it. I won't worry too much about it at the moment. It's uh, it's the least of your problems. As long as the game's stable and it doesn't crash, we're all good. So we're going to come up here from the Metro Loop. You can go up either side. It takes you to the same place. Look around. Get a feel for it. All right, we're going to go upstairs. And this is called the Commons. So the Commons is known uh, for the yoga in the middle here. This is kind of like a... Um, these are all kind of bugged out, sitting there, not really doing much. Um, but this is kind of like the mall, if you like, the plaza. And so here, as you've come up from the Metro Loop, there's a Metro Loop there. And another one over the other side there. And then around here, this is... a. Uh, like a sandwich bar. You've then got a, an area here and you've got a, a gym here. So this takes you, if you go here, it takes you to the surface where you can get an elevator up. Uh, we'll, we'll actually explore this later. Um, I'm not going to do this now, but this is an entrance we'll come in later uh, when you want to save a bit of time. And you'll come in this way, but not for now. We're going to go around in a loop. So we started over there. There's the coffee bar, the gym. There's the other way down to the metro line. Uh, here's Garcia's Greens, where you can come and buy a smoothie if you need to get a drink. Um, it's a good time to tell you, actually, if I press F and, and right-click, it brings up a menu. And on the bottom left-hand corner here, I can see my hydration, my uh, hunger, uh, my trauma settings, so if I'm injured, my temperature, my O2 level, and my health, and any drugs that I may be on. Um, so that is there. You press F and uh, right click for that. So I'm not going to drink at the moment. I'm okay. We're just going to walk around. So that's the full loop done. We're now going to come around into here, which is the plaza area. So the way the plaza works inside this dome is you've got a middle section down here. And it loops all the way around this middle section. So all we're going to do is we're going to take a ring road round. So I'm going to run, run you around until we get back to here. Okay, so this is New Babbage Commons through there, and this is the plaza here. So, as we run around, we've got uh, Shubin, and we've got Center Mass. We'll talk about those in a second. So, Shubin on the right here, and then we keep running around. Everything else is decoration, so you can ignore everything else. As we keep running around, then we've got Center Mass here. Also, that takes you into the middle. Uh, then we continue up, keep running around. It's all quite well signposted. Uh, you'll figure this out. Uh, all of this is just decoration. You can ignore all of this. Um, this building here is uh, protection services. It's not open yet, but this is going to be the uh, MT protection services. We'll we'll talk about that a bit later. Um, but yep, that's that section there. And then we're back into um, go around this side. This is going to be the um, trade and development division. Uh, I don't need to do anything with that at the moment. This is Amiga Pro and FTL. So. Center Mass, MT, FTL, Amiga Pro. So FTL, we don't need to do anything, but that's in there. Keep running around, Amiga Pro. And all we're doing is just running around in a loop around the outside. So there's Amiga Pro. And that's it. Then if we keep going, we're going to end up exactly back where we started. So again, some coffee areas, some areas to chill. And then this is exactly where we started. Left is the commons. And then that is the center mass and the shib, uh, shoe bin. So you kind of get a feel for this now. It's a big loop with a center, belt, a center part. What we're going to do now inside this plaza is we're actually going to run round and we're going to go to these places. So first of all, we're going to go to shoe bin. Uh, when here, you're going to click on this by pressing F and you're going to use. Okay, this is where you can buy and sell. In terms of buying, we're going to choose a category. You're going to click on Utility. Okay. And you're going to get gadgets. Uh, no, sorry. I apologize. You're not going to get gadgets. Um, you're not going to get anything here, actually. Not in terms of utilities, you're not. Uh, you can get your armor here. Apologize. Uh, you can get your armor. So you can get your arms. You can get your core, your legs, your helmet, and a backpack. Doesn't matter what you buy, you can buy absolutely anything you want. Uh, for example, what I'm going to buy now is the SH helmet. So I'm going to buy this one. Uh, and I like this one. This is a Thule. I uh, quite like the way this looks. So I quick buy that. I now have it. 
Okay, I'm now going to quick buy the rest of it. So I'm going to get the core. So I've got a helmet. I've got a core. I've got my arms. Okay, we keep going. I've got the backpack. And then don't forget your legs. I need to get my legs as well. Here we go. Legs as well. Perfect. I've now purchased all of those items. You can also sell, so if, you've, if you're out looting or you happen to find something, you can come here and sell it. Uh, different places have different prices, depends if they sell the items or not. So now you're going to want to attach your items. Simply do that by pressing the I key. The I key brings up your inventory. Uh, I'm going to take off this helmet and this uh, suit that I was wearing. I'm now in my boxers. Excuse me, sir. Okay, yep, carry on. Nothing to see here. All right, so we have an undersuit. Uh, you'll always have an undersuit, which you can wear. The only time you won't have an undersuit is if you die. You'll wake up in a medical gown, and then your undersuit and your helmet will be in your local storage. This is the local storage for new Babbage. Every location, every single location has a local storage. This local storage is local to you. This is your storage, and anything in here is safe. No one can steal it. Not that we know of yet, anyway. So all we're going to do to equip, uh, there's two ways to do it. We can either left click, hold and drag, place it onto our body to where we see the circle area. And as we get over towards the circle, you'll start to see it snap into place. Simply let go. And this is now fitted. What this now does is opens up our personal because now we have space. See before there was no space. Now, because we have this on us, we have new space. This is our capacity. It's 12,000 uh, USCU, which is our uh, the, the unit count. All right, so this is our capacity units or storage capacity units. Um, okay, and so we have 12,000 of them. Um, here in the local capacity, I mean, it's just a, a ridiculous amount. So you should never run out in your local. Okay, the other way to do it is if you wanted to, you could double click. It will also place it onto you. And the other thing that you can do if you wanted to is hold down uh, shift and left click and it will transfer it to the other storage. What I mean by that is if I want to move this helmet from local to personal, I can just hold down left shift and then left click and it, <laughs> it, it won't go across because it won't fit into this space. Um, but I'll show you that in a minute because now I've got my um, armor, I can put my backpack on the back of my armor. And now if I left click and shift, It'll move it across, and that's how I can quite easily just hold down left shift, left click, and I can move stuff across. If I double click it, it will place it onto my head. So that's how I can move things around, and it kind of gives you that idea of how that works. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on my arms and my legs, and here we go. I'm now fully kitted out. So you can see all of my gear, everything I've got available, um, and I've got my... Um, 100,000 for my backpack capacity, 12,000 for my core armor, 7,000 for my legs. Now, if I put something into something, like say I put that helmet into the backpack, and then I take the backpack off, you're not going to see the helmet anymore because the helmet is in the backpack. So stuff that you put into your leg armor or your arm armor, try and remember where it is because if you do take it off or you move it, you may end up losing things or think, well, where did that go? Okay, so so far, that's all we need to worry about here. So that is what we can do here inside uh, Shubin Interstellar. And now we're going to move around. Now we're all dressed out and ready to go. You can see our character. We've got our armor. We've got our backpack. We're good to go. Now don't worry too much. You will die in this game. It's absolutely natural. You'll die a lot. Don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to come to center mass now. This is where you buy your guns for your ship and your character. Um, we're going to head over to this uh, display console here, F and left click, and we're going to buy some guns. So the first gun that you're going to want to buy, or first of all, you can um, click on miscellaneous, and we can buy a med pen. Now you can quick buy to just buy one of these, or you can actually click on buy, and you can buy multiple. I'm going to buy five. I'm going to buy those, and I now have them. I'm also going to buy myself a personal weapon. So click on personal weapons. And then I can choose what I want. Personal weapons, I can look, see what I want, and I can buy anything. A good starting one is the uh, C54 SMG, just to get you started. It's nice and cheap, and uh, it works quite well. So I'm going to quick buy the C54. Now, if you want to, you can also just remove 
all of this and I can type into the search C54. It's going to give me my gun and also magazines. Magazines come fully loaded. You don't get bullets anywhere. A magazine is bullets. Click on this. Click on buy. And then I'm just going to buy myself another five. Uh, I've already bought one. I'm going to buy five more. So I've got now six rounds of ammunition. In fact, I'm going to buy two more. So I have eight in total. When you start off on this game, you're going to go through a lot of ammunition as you're getting used to this. And it's okay. It's cheap. Much, much better for you to be able to buy it. Um, ignore my wallet balance. This is obviously a lot higher than your starting balance. Um, it's still not a lot, but it's uh, just what I've done in the last few days. So um, you can make... Um, the, the Golden Grail is trying to get a million units per hour. That's the Golden Grail. But most people are able to generate or earn one, two, three, maybe even 400,000 an hour. So it's possible to earn money in this game. Like you don't have to worry and you can buy everything you need. So you don't need to put real cash into this game. Even though you can buy those credits with real cash, I don't recommend it. It's, uh, it's better just to play the game. All right, so we're going to come away from here. There's also ship guns and weapons and things like that. We'll, we'll come back. We'll deal with that later. For now, we need to get you out and earning some money. So let's get through the basics. Finish off your orientation. And then we'll go from there. So we're going to uh, skip through to the middle section here now. It's all well signposted, so you know where you're going. Um, we don't have to go into the uh, the trade division, um, but I will show it to you very quickly. So up here, this is inside the trade and development. Okay, so in here, this is a commodity shop. This is where you will buy and sell commodities. This is a important place that you will use later if you're doing things like salvaging. You'll need to come in here uh, to be able to buy and sell these things. And the good thing about this is if I click on use, the first thing I can do is select an inventory. So I've got myself as a person. And if I click on myself, this is any commodities I've got to sell. Uh, also my um, local, this is my local. And then this is also my ship, which is here. So my ship is here as well. So if I had anything to, uh, my ship has four cargo holds or cargo spaces. So if there was any cargo in my ship, I would be able to put, sell that here. I don't have to drag it in. I can leave it in my ship and I can pull it up. So this is buying and selling. Now, I'm not going to do that now, but later on, that will become uh, important. So commodity screens. Okay, uh, we're just going to go up to the protection services. Um, I think I might be wrong, but I think there might be something in here. No, no I can't go in this one. No, that one's not open yet. Um, there was one more place I want to take you. Might be, might be this side. Oh yes, Omega Pro. Omega Pro, Omega Pro was the last one. Uh, this is where you're going to buy your your ship items that you need: engines, warp drives, things like that. Um, we're not going to use it too much at the moment, but there is one thing that we want to buy in here. One thing we want to buy in. It's really important to have this. So come into the shop, have a look around, take your time, enjoy it. But we're going to go to this console, click on this, and lots of items that you can buy. Um, some really cool stuff here. Uh, there's websites and stuff you can look at later. There's paints and things you can buy. Don't worry about it for now. We're going to click on utility. Uh, no, we're not. We're not going to click on utility. Uh, maybe I don't buy it from here. Uh, I think they've removed it or I'm in the wrong place. Um, yeah. I think I'm in the wrong place. I actually want to get a utility gun. I thought you got it in here, but no. Not there. It'll, it'll be somewhere else. Um, can't remember. <laughs> I apologize. Um, there's actually a, a utility gun that we want to pick up. So uh, just bear with me while we run around one more time. Um, as a noob myself, <laughs> it's, uh, it might be here. I don't think it was in center mass. In protection services. We're going to keep running around. It's good to, uh, good to get your bearings. This is all I really want you to do at this stage is just get used to this place. It feels massive. It's overwhelming. If you break it down and learn it, it's kind of straightforward. But just please take some time and, and get used to this so that you uh, you you know where you're going. Um, yeah, I I can't remember. I can't remember what it is I'm looking for, and it's uh, it's definitely not here. So it's the it's the multi tool that I wanted. Um, yeah, 
That's embarrassing. Um, it's uh, it must be at the other shop. It's somewhere. <laughs> I know it's somewhere. But anyway, we're gonna come out of here, run around. I think it might have been at the first shop, the one where I, I was and I, I thought it was there, but I didn't see it. Or they may, it's possible with this patch, they may have removed it. It just may not be here anymore. You can always search. It is, it's here. It's at the first shop. Look, the uh, it's at the Shubin Interstellar. So when you get your armor, uh, you want to get your Pyro RYT multi-tool. You definitely want to buy one of these, okay? So the Pyro, P-Y-R-O, uh, you can... Uh, just type in multi if you need to. But that is what you're going to buy, okay? Now, this multi-tool is going to give you the ability later on uh, to be able to do things. Now, I can't use it in here because in the top right-hand corner of my screen, you can see a bullet with a line through it. That means we're in the armistice zone and we cannot put out our guns or our weapons. Uh, we can't put anything out at the moment. What I'm going to do is press I. Uh, there's a lot of things that I've bought here. So I can zoom around here. I can holster a gun on my back in one of two locations, left or right side. Uh, it's possible to do that. I can't carry it at the moment. Uh, I can put this uh, multi-tool onto my hip. That can go there. And I can also... So this is the stuff in local storage in New Babbage. Now, I could, if I wanted to, move all of this across into my backpack. Or I could put it into maybe my legs or something like that. I can also stack stuff as well if it's the same. So as long as it has the same amount of rounds and it's the same item, I can stack it. So I've got eight magazines, five med pens, and I'll, I'll leave the helmet there. All right. Now, I can't use this. Let's say I fire off all of my rounds in my gun and I want to reload. I cannot pull a magazine out of my backpack or my armor or my legs. I actually need to attach it. To do that, I can drag it and I can place it onto one of these slots. De depending on what you're wearing item-wise, uh, you might have more slots. So I've got eight slots, which means I can have eight magazines. Click and I let go. Now you'll see where number one is. There's these dotted lines going around it. These dotted lines mean uh, it's full. If it was half full, there'd only be half the dotted lines. I can also double click if I wanted to and it will attach them as well. And you'll be able to watch on my back. The next one will go right here. And the next one will go right here, all the way around. So you'll see this as I put the last three on, I'm just gonna double click them. There we go. So now I've got all of these slots and you can see they're all full up here. That means that if I need to reload now, they're accessible. The same with the med pens. For me to be able to use the med pens, I need to attach them. I can just double click if I need to, and it will attach them onto all of the slots. So I have four slots and I have one spare, which I'm just gonna keep in my legs for now. I can pull that out later if I need to. All right, so that's it. We're now fully kitted. We have a gun, we have our ammunition, we have our med pens, we have our utility tool, we have our armor, our legs, our arms, our chest, and our helmet. Please make sure you have a helmet. If you go outside without one, you will die. Don't die. This is you set up. You are ready to go. Um, as you're going to start flying before you do anything else, it might be in your best interest to leave all of this in local for now. It might be in your best interest to put everything in local and just keep your standard undersuit and your helmet just while you get used to the game. Because if you crash your plane, then you've got to go out and find your body, recover your gear. You can do it if you want, but you don't want to lose your gear before you've even had a chance to use it. So um, as you're starting out, before you do any missions, just to get used to the place, you don't need to be kitted out. You can keep it all in local, run around uh, with just your undersuit and your helmet on. You will suffer the elements, and if you do get shot, you're going to die. But you should be fine to start with, so just to, to get used to things. All right, so now that's it. We've done the plaza. We can now leave. So we're going to go back the same way we come. We're going to go back to the tube. So we go around the commons. And then on the left-hand side here, down to the metro. It's really important that you learn this area. Um, you're not going to come back here for a while, but it is important because there are so many places. And it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. I don't know if we're going to make the tube. We're going to try and make the train. 
No. Oh, we just missed it. We missed the train. And just like in the real world, we now have to wait 45 seconds for our next train. This is uh, what I was saying about before with no loading screens. This is the immersion. This is the realism. And some people like it. Some people don't. But overall, I think it's quite a nice, uh, enjoyable game experience because you feel the pain of waiting. Nobody likes to waste time. Nobody likes to wait. But you do get to feel that pain and it makes you think about, well, how can I be more efficient? How can I be more effective? And that's kind of what this game is about. You know, when you start, you're going to be earning money, but you're not going to be earning much. So it's about how can I earn more money? How can I be more effective? How can I be better at what I'm doing? Um, and you can do anything you want within this game. Uh, you can just be looking around. You can go and uh, shoot people. You can go and join teams. You can go and avoid everyone. You can be a delivery driver, a medic, a scrap uh, salvage uh, repairer. You can be um, a taxi service. You can be so many different things. You can be a bounty hunter. You can be a criminal. You can be a drug lord. You can do so many things in this game. Um, just bearing in mind, if you do go for some of the uh, the, the the illegal activities, you will get a, a crime rep. So now we're heading away from the city, and we're heading across the frozen lake towards the spaceport. The spaceport you can see there in the distance. Uh, this was what we saw at the very start when we looked out over the window. You can tell by the three towers with the red lights That's how it's easily accessible. It's the only building across a lake. And uh, it's got those towers. You'll you'll understand when we're in the air. Uh, so we're almost done in this video. I just want to show you around the spaceport, get you to your ship, uh, and that will be the end of this video. And then we'll we'll do flying in the next video. So at this stage, just look around, uh, familiarize yourself, orientate yourself with the with the area, and uh, and enjoy it. And again, some glitches, some bugs, but overall. Overall, not too bad. It's very, very easy to pull the, but they've got half a billion dollars and it's been 10 years card. Um, try not to do that. Just enjoy it for what it is and, uh, and hope it doesn't crash. So here we go. We're at the spaceport. Before we leave, we're going to look at the map. So we're currently here at the New Babbage Inter Interstellar Spaceport. Okay. One second. <laughs> what are you doing? One second. I'm going to. Uh, oh, it stuck. It lagged. I'm going to turn off my microphone because uh, I, I realised I was muted. Um, this is proximity chat, so there's people here talking. You'll be able to hear them. Um, excellent. So, um, yes, we're at the uh, New Babbage Interstellar Spaceport. And and by the way, if you press Escape and go to Options, uh, go to Comms. You, uh, you can mute your microphone. Be careful because otherwise you have open comms. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've got the commons. This is where we just was. Uh, we've got the expo center that's closed and the Aspire Grand. Let's get away from these guys. We're going to go up top. Right. Hold on. Where are they? I don't even know where they are. The proximity, I think they've gone upstairs. Yeah, right. The proximity is actually no, really no, loud. No, no. I I don't know where those guys are, but I can still hear them. So um, let me just press escape and check. I wonder if we can reduce the range. I don't think we can. Um, for the proximity voice, I don't know if we can change that. Uh, a lot of it's head tracking. Um, Okay. Anyway, we can't change that. So, yeah. There is proximity chat. Just be aware of that. So, anyway, yes, this was a map that I was talking about. Let's uh, let's head out. All right. We're going to go up the elevator here. All six of these go to the same place. It's very similar to the where we was earlier when we spawned in the, like, the hotel. Um, but we're now in the spaceport. There's lots of things to distract you when we get upstairs. Don't worry about them too much. Uh, honestly, you don't need to worry. We're going to go up from the Metro Loop to the terminal. We're going to go through customs. It, the distractions are really clever. They are designed to really give you the feeling um, more than anything. They, they, they're designed to kind of give you the feeling 
that you are somewhere bigger than you currently are. So whilst it looks really grand and big, like with all these doors and things, they all lead to the same place. As we come through here, we're just going to walk through. We're coming through into the spaceport. There's a couple of armed security guards. And again, there's doors here. It looks, oh, what's that door? What? Nothing. You can't go through these doors. They're not actually active. They don't do anything. Again, it's just space. It's, it's meant to look like this is restricted, so you can't go through. Um, again, it's just space. There's only one way to go here, which is through this scan gate. You can look around if you need to, but there's nothing here. We're going to go to the left. Up here, we're through security now. And we're here at Welcome to New Babbage. Up into the spaceport. And we're here. We can look back out. That's the train line we took in. There's the city where we just was. And we're now in the spaceport. Here we are. You can go up the left or the right side. Does not matter. Not too much to do here. It's very simple. If I stand in the middle, the hangars are on the right. And on the left is ship rentals. Now, there is a section up here, but you can't do anything up here. Uh, apart from you can go to the surface. Um, but this is commercial flights and there's nothing here. It's just empty. So, that's all you need to do. We're not going to go into rentals yet. We don't need to worry about that. And unfortunately, I don't know how to turn the proximity comms off. So, we're going to ignore that for now. Um, all we're going to do is come to this fleet management. So, this fleet management that's here. I can click on this. Touch to start. And this is going to show you where your, um, your vehicle is that you purchased. Because you remember, you bought a game package that come with a ship. So now you're going to be able to access your ship. It's been uh, sent to Hangar 3. We're going to go to the lifts here. Again, there's nothing else in this room. So just go to any of these lifts. They all go to the same place. We're going to call the elevator. We're going to go in here. And we're going to scroll down. There's all these different hangars here. 20 of them. We're going to go to Hangar 3. If you forget where you are, look around. You will see. There you go. It says, there's my ship in Hangar 3. All right. We're in the hangar. This is just us here now. A few security guards, stuff to look around, but ultimately nothing else to do. There's just our ship. We can get in our ship. Uh, and if you land and you arrive here, again, left or right, go down the elevators and just reverse the process. And that's it. There's nothing else you can do here. Make sure you've got your helmet on at this point. Press I. Make sure you've got your helmet on because if that door opens, <laughs> yeah, you're going to struggle. Because um, that's space out there. And uh, yeah, um, you should be all right here because this is a breathable planet. But yeah, just, just always be prepared and always be aware. All right, that's it. That's all you need to do for this video. We've covered um, Aspire. We've covered the commons and the plaza. And we've covered the spaceport. Uh, we've explained uh, the medical bay, uh, your sleeping arrangements, how to go shopping, and how to get to the spaceport. That's a lot to cover in this video. So... Go through this, understand it, and in the next video, we're going to jump into that ship, and we're going to take off, and we're going to do a quick flying lesson, and then I'm going to take you to a um, another spaceport, uh, and it's important for you to be able to, uh, to get there as well. So, all right, thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you soon.